Hey everybody and welcome to the CTN. This is Bobby Chu talking from Imaginism Studios all the way in Toronto, Canada. I hope you guys are doing good and let me tell you a little bit about ourselves. We are a studio that does previs, character design, illustration, whatever you want, you know, we do that. And we're here to just show our stuff and you know it's been a great experience so everybody that's into art into animation into illustration you need to get your butts out here this is where it's at and what do we do well we we do all sorts of different things we work in movies television film um, everybody go and check out Alice in Wonderland March 2010 because we designed a whole bunch of the characters in that been a great experience and this is the place to be if you want to meet us or anybody else that's in the film industry it's Bobby Chu CTN 2009 my education comes from uh, I went to college in Toronto Canada or just outside of Toronto Canada at this college called Sheridan College and back then I was learning animation just enough to know that I didn't want to do animation so now I paint and draw and basically that's all self-taught I also teach online at schoolism.com and what that is is I actually I paint and draw on top of every student's uh, paintings and assignments, personal feedback designed on your specific skill level. Why is it important to come to CTN, he asks. I can't believe I even have to answer that question. You know, it's all about networking. You need to get out there. You need to get off your butts, out of your house, out of your little cave, wherever you are. And you gotta meet people in the industry to become, to get your butt into the industry. That's, that's part of the secret, you know what I mean? So another question from our viewers is that, you know, how do you get into this business? What kind of tips can I give you? Well, I got two great tips that I would have loved to know and I feel is all that you need to know to get into this business. One is absolute intensity. Intensity. If you rub a couple sticks together for a million years at this speed, you're not going to get any fire. You know what I mean? You need to get crazy. You need some intensity to really ignite and really, you know, have something happen. That's number one. You got to get crazy. Don't be afraid to really fall in love with art because then art will take care of you, okay? Number two is you have to have common sense, which it should be, in my opinion, it should be a class in every school in no matter what subject. And what that means, common sense means that you have to have, uh, you have to think about everybody else's point of view including your own and that way you'll be able to make the best decisions we as artists we are communicators we want to communicate certain ideas to the viewer now if our idea does not communicate across and you don't understand what we're trying to say then you're doing a bad job so you have to look at everything from a third person point of view from a little child point of view from an old man point of view you know, every kind of point of view you can possibly imagine, and then that will determine whether your stuff is funny or whether your stuff is scary or whether, you know, whether your point comes across. You know, for example, I have this painting here called uh, The Big Bad Bunny Eater. You know, so the whole entire idea behind this is that I want to control your point of view, right? So I want you to notice the bunny first, the bunny design. Then I want you to notice the little rabbits all around. And then the third one, I want you to notice the monster that's behind the rabbit, and then you get it. And then you're going to tell your friends, and you're going to go, hey, come over here, you got to check this out, look at this, you get it? And that starts conversation, all that stuff. All that stuff is completely uh, designed that way. You know, you have to be a great communicator. 